Hi, this video tries to answer a question I've seen in the comment section asking how to record uh, drum brutes uh, notes or pet playing into Reason. Uh, to record uh, anything from a controller you'll need to declare the, the controller surface and add it but there's no specific controller to drum brute so we need to use a generic controller that's the only option available by default set it to drum brute and you can start using a drum brute as a controller You can hear that when I'm playing the Kong, I'm also hearing the, um, the sounds of the drum brute, the internal sounds. Uh, if I clear the Kong, you can see I'm playing the Kong, but I'm still hearing the drum brute. Why is that? Well, because the, the pads of the drum brute, while sending MIDI notes to Reason, and this is why the, the pads of the Kong are responding but it's also triggering its own uh, um, internal sounds so how to solve this? well we need a dedicated a remote codec you simply download it Um, unzip it and follow the instructions in the, the readme and uh, move these folders to to the folder uh, used by by reason here it asks me if I want to replace, yes I want, because I already have this installed okay, that's it usually if you have a reason uh, already running, you need to, to close it and start it again to rescan these uh, folders and recognize the new uh, codec since I already had it uh, installed, I simply go to edit preferences and I can use the auto detect. While the, the codec is active, the, the drum brute uh, will have the local control off. Uh, as soon as you quit a uh, reason, it will turn it on again. Oh, this needs to be deleted because I, we don't need the, the generic controller again. Okay, now with this we can record the notes without hearing the, the drum brute's internal sounds. Okay, let's do a little test. Oops. As you can see, notes are recorded. Okay. So, how do you now hear the, the internal sounds of drum brute? Well, you need to send the notes back to the, the drum brute. How? You use the external MIDI instrument, set it to the correct MIDI port, and here this is important, you need to set the MIDI channel to 10, 
because that's the the default uh, MIDI channel the drum brute is expecting to receive the the notes uh, unless you changed it but this is the default so now I'm I'm able to play the drum brute by sending the notes to reason and back into the, the drum brute if I select another instrument I'm only sending the notes to reason and those notes are used by the, the, the selected um, instrument this in this case the selected instrument ends up being the drum brute now How to sync the drum brute to reason. Here we can go to edit preferences and in the sync section you need to set the output to the MIDI part of the drum brute and you need to set the, the send clock either from that button or from here. Then you need to set the MIDI brute sync to USB in, in this case because I, I have it uh, connected through USB. It will also receive the start stop and uh, with the send clock set you can start the reason sequencer and at the same time drum brute sequencer will start. We, we're not hearing anything. Why? Because the uh, drum brute sequencer is also, like the pads, is also sending out the MIDI notes without triggering the internal sounds of the drum brute uh, exactly because the local control is off. To hear it, we need the same external MIDI instrument also still set to MIDI channel 10 and now we can hear okay. and since we can hear we can record this um, I'll set this to drum edit okay these are the the notes set in the, the pads let's record this That's it. Uh, now, if I want to play this, as soon as, as I, I press the play, the drum brute will follow again and will start playing. So I need to set it to internal MIDI clock. That's it. Oh, one other thing. Um, there's a, there's a way to to select the which pattern to play through uh, program change. So uh, you can see I'm changing to to six or sixteen and. Uh, above that, it, nothing happens. But from uh, 1 to 16, uh, the program change will select the, the pattern. To select the, um, the bank, you need to send uh, bank select. And you can see the, the bank being selected. So you can automate this and send both the CC0 for bank select from 1 to 4 and the program change from 1 to 16 and with this pair you can select which pattern to play and that's about it i hope you find this uh, info useful and thank you for watching <laughs>